commemorating the 8th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks, which claimed almost 3,000 lives. The official version of events has failed to satisfy many people, and there are calls for a fresh investigation into the tragedy. Marina Portnaya picks up the story. Eight years on, Truth now. Truth now. American citizens are pounding the streets, still searching for answers. This movement's never going to stop. Never. The push for another investigation into the September 11th attacks grows larger with each passing year. Manuel Badillo's uncle died when the Twin Towers came down. He believes U.S. leaders had prior knowledge of the impending attacks, but consciously failed to act. Why is there no justice yet? Why is there no accountability? Badillo is among roughly 80,000 New Yorkers petitioning for a new impartial probe to answer the questions many believe state and federal officials are failing to. The majority of family members don't believe it. The uh, first responders don't believe what they were told by our government. Uh, all of these have turned out to be lies that we've been told. Um, Sixty percent of the commissioners don't believe the story that they received. Critics say the 9-11 Commission report, presented as the official version of events, failed to hold a single individual accountable for the numerous warnings leading up to on and after September 11th. Ted Walter is the executive director of the NYC Coalition of Accountability Now. His organization is focused on getting a referendum during this November's mayoral election to allow New Yorkers the chance to vote for a new 9-11 investigation. It's absolutely essential for the, for the world, for the well-being of the world, that we understand why 9-11 occurred, who was behind it. Um, because if we have a false understanding, we're going to be basing policies uh, on that false understanding. Pressures even coming from the West Coast. Hollywood actor Charlie Sheen wrote a 15-page public letter to the president calling for another 9-11 inquiry. It doesn't add up. A lot of it doesn't add up, hence these questions. But a move like Sheen's can be quite a gamble in the domain of American public opinion. Just ask Van Jones, Obama's former green job czar. He stepped down because of the hysteria over his support for and association with 9-11 truth finders. Van Jones should have stuck to his feelings and to his uh, democratic actions that he took and uh, his, his intuition because the majority of Americans, majority of New Yorkers, all the polls show it, um, know that our government did not tell us the entire story about 9-11. Eight years ago, all New Yorkers were standing shoulder to shoulder on the day that nearly 3,000 people perished from attacks. Now, we have citizens standing on one side, police officers on the other, and many are asking for accountability. A demand from which these Americans refuse to back off. Marina Portnaya, RT.